Effective communication is one of your most valuable assets and it is an essential tool if you want to progress throughout life. When it comes to interviews, when it comes to building relationships, conversation is the name of the game. How is it that we can have a better conversation with someone? How is it that we can improve our communication skills and our verbal communication skills? In this video, I'm going to be giving you three strategies that you can use and that greatly help me improve my communication skills. If you are interested in more content like this, make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you turn on the post notifications bell to stay up to date with the informative uploads like this. Let's go. One of the most essential skills when it comes to effective communication and when it comes to having a better conversation with someone is maintaining appropriate and proper eye contact. Not only does this demonstrate respect, but it also lets the other person know that you're paying attention to what they're saying. There's a difference between actually listening to what someone is saying and just hearing what someone is saying. If you're really listening attentively to what someone is saying and you're nodding every now and then, that's a good indication to someone that you're taking in what they said what they're trying to communicate you're taking in what they're trying to get across to you and by also maintaining proper eye contact you let them know that you are fully immersed in the conversation you are fully attentive you are fully present listening attentively is something that has dwindled in this attention deficit society that we live in today so if you have the ability to maintain good eye contact during a conversation and i'm not talking about the creepy type i'm talking about maintaining good and proper eye contact during communication that's a good indication that you are listening you are taking in what the other person is saying so make sure that you pay attention to this for you to have a better conversation with someone that person does not need to feel smarter that person needs to feel like you are giving them chance to speak you are taking in what they're trying to communicate to you and in order to do that sometimes we have to sit back and be the bigger person sometimes we have to speak less and listen more if you keep on forcing your topic or your conversation your ideas onto someone that is a quick way to upset someone it's a quick way to make someone feel smothered during a conversation and if you want to become a better communicator this is a big no-no so make sure you sit back you relax and you take in what the other person is trying to communicate to you instead of interjecting every five seconds instead of interrupting them which may seem rude and it may seem inconsiderate of what they're trying to communicate to you so take some time Time to really listen be the bigger person sit back let them finish talking and then conjure up a proper response too many people try and force their opinions and force their subjects and topics into a conversation without really taking into consideration that the other person has not finished their conversation yet so a big lesson that really helped me is it's oftentimes better to be the one who listens all of the time than the loudest person in the room I found that an essential part of good communication and an essential part of having a better conversation with someone is understanding the differences between the two of you, understanding that there's likes and dislikes, the things that you like, the things that the other person likes, and at some point you are going to disagree. So what I'm really trying to say is accept the fact that you're going to disagree sometimes and accept the fact that there are going to be differences and there are going to be certain points that you disagree on but rather than pounding on that disagreement rather than letting that disagreement influence the conversation in a negative way rather be open-minded rather be willing to listen to the opinion of the other person take into consideration and be open-minded about their views their morals and their areas of concern rather than being close-minded and rejecting the conversation immediately something that i've always made a mistake with in the past is not staying open-minded and immediately rejecting someone's opinion about something just because i don't like it just because that's my opinion ladies and gentlemen we are always welcome to have our own opinions but sometimes it's even more important to consider the opinion of others and it's even more important to stay open-minded about about that opinion your opinion is not always right the way you see things is not always right we all view life through different lenses and depending on what that lens essentially entails we are always going to have differences between us we are always going to have disagreements between us but do not allow disagreements to destroy a constructive conversation rather be open-minded rather allow the other person to voice their opinion than interrupting them or immediately rejecting that opinion have an open-minded conversation 
Ladies and gentlemen, if you found value in this video and this video really helped you to become a better communicator and really helped you to have better conversations in general, all I ask of you is please like, share, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.